I decided to use some scrap zebra wood that I had to do a little experiment with making a jar on the lathe, but I wanted to do something small. So this is a, an experiment. So there I've just used the parting tool to make a little groove where I'll separate the top and bottom halves and um, make a little sleeve so the two fit together. And this is just a, a blunt nose scraper. I discovered that zebra wood is easier to work with on a lathe with scrapers rather than sharp gouges and chisels. I was really just experimenting with the shape of this. Um, I was a little disappointed with it at this moment because it was looking a little too much like a hamburger for me. Uh, and I was trying to decide whether to leave these little buttons on both the top and bottom of it um, or if I should cut them off entirely and make it into just a little sort of clamshell thing that you could put in your pocket. Here I've sawn apart the two halves and I chucked up the bottom in my Novachuk. That was just me testing the depth and checking to make sure that the walls are kind of even all the way around. And here I'm chucking up the top half and you can see just a little edge of where it was sawn apart from the bottom half. So I'm aiming to open it up and hollow it out up to that edge. Here's a little test fit, not quite opened up enough yet. My lathe doesn't start on its own. I have to spin start it with my hand. This is a Sears Craftsman Morse Taper 1 lathe. And there's a pretty good fit. I'll do a quick sand with my hand in front of the camera. And the two halves fit. So at this point, uh, I shouldn't have shaped this bottom half yet. I should have re-chucked it in the lathe chuck and sanded and finished the inside, but I didn't. So here I'm shaping this little tab down and I decided to leave it on there rather than cut it all the way off. A little more sanding. Burnishing. And this is walnut oil, just applied with a brush. And then once I get it good and soaked down there, I um, rub it in with a cloth. And here I've turned the piece over and put it between two centers and am turning down the other button, for lack of a better word. Walnut oil and burnishing. There's the finished product. I did sand and burnish the inside of the one half I didn't chuck up by hand and the grain matches pretty well. <laughs>